I think the past couple of weeks leading up to the finale of like a four year, three season journey, it hadn't hit me yet. And then we had the table read. There wasn't a dry eye. Um, and I think for, for two days, I was really shaken up. I think it took me a moment to just process what was happening. I have my script and it's completely warped from my tears. <laughs> if that signifies anything at all, how I felt about our series wrapping up. Fort Salem is our home. Let's defend it. One last hurrah. Let's finish this for goddess and country. Get to the necro facility. You're gonna have to fight your way through. Wait. Just want to say how proud I am to know all three of you. So Anacostia has a moment with our unit where she reminds them not to take their sisterhood for granted. The moment we met, I knew there was something else. This odd, beautiful, precisely perfect combination of your talents. Everybody saw it. Everybody knew. Never doubt that. Right? Almost like she knows it's the last time they're gonna see each other. It's, it has that tension in the air. And then she has this split second moment to save herself or the five people around her. And naturally she chooses to save them. And it's just freaking devastating. I'm pretty sure it's written like, Anacostia's light is out. And to see that is really heartbreaking. It was a very, very emotional scene. The surprise of it made the reality of war feel so real. Come on! <sighs> when I first read the script and I saw the death, honestly, there was a gratitude. You know, as sometimes happens in show business, the actor, Demetria McKinney, had a commitment and we wanted to try to help her do it because we adore her. And we got very emotional when we were kind of breaking that idea. We lost Anacostia. <laughs> Anacostia has raised these three girls. She's there with us through basic. She was there with us still through war college and all of the things in between. Fearless feared by those who crossed her. She saw the good in everyone. Jacilla, she is someone who saw the good in her when no one else did. My daughter. For Alder to lose Anacostia, it's a real grief. It really is. I think Anacostia is the only one that came so close of really being a daughter-daughter. To Anacostia Quartermain. To Anacostia Quartermain. For those who dwell on the earth. It's kind of the most dignified, soldiery moment in the whole series, and I'm glad Anacostia got it. There was a pain because I love this character, but there was also a gratitude because they love me. And so if there is an exit that has to happen, I'm grateful for the one that I got. This is what I saw, guys. When I ended the world, Great. For a lot of the season, Tally has been haunted by this apocalyptic end of the world vision where Rael is becoming the witch bomb and is exploding and killing everything and everybody. <laughs> that all happens, but Tally didn't see the rest of the vision and she didn't see her part in it because ultimately it becomes about what these three women do together and how they change what's gonna happen into something good. <laughs> <laughs> so getting the stewards, finding all the stewards, finally working out which the last steward was at the end with moments of time to lose to save the day was probably one of my uh, most favorite moments. The song, it remains in you. How will I know how to sing it? It's yours. You'll know how. When Alder told Abigail about the Bellwether line and the history that was taken from her family and that she's a steward, she's finally found her place and it's kind of like a new identity for her almost. For her to finally own all of it is so beautiful and such a beautiful ending to her story. Okay, tell us time. Okay, you're fat. Okay. 
I remember when we came together for the rehearsal and we sang the first song for the very first time. Outside, there was a hailstorm that broke loose. There was thunder. And when we shot the scene, the same thing happened. We were all so believing that we are now witches. And yes, we did this. That for me was like, wow, I don't think I'll ever forget that. And it's quite the song. It was very emotional. In the climactic, nearly final moments, the stewards are all assembled, and Rael's witch bomb explodes. And it's the combination of those two events that changes the world. There's just this sense of relief, and you can see it among all the witches at, all around Fort Salem and around the world. Evil has been defeated for now, and that just is like a big, fresh, breath of air. I think at the end we get humbled by the bigger picture and we start realizing, oh, actually all we needed was faith. All we needed was tremendous trust, that things will unfold as they're meant to. And now my gift is freely given, thanks to you three. On the camera here? They are witches too, like everyone else. I wanted to end on as big of a what if as we started on in the series. And so the idea of a song waking the witch in all people and turning everybody into a witch, it's a big way to do that. And you start to ask questions right away. They're questions that I kind of enjoy leaving hanging in the air, you know, for people to kind of think about and dream about. When they call you goddesses, make sure you live up to it. Everything's gonna be okay. We end the series in a unabashed hopefulness about the future, and I think the world needs that right now, and it's yet another image that I was happy to create. Hasamiyava. Hasamiyava.